Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now, available 2018, always in 2018, the album, Dad AF. Did y'all hear that Lady Gaga is releasing a makeup line? Oh my god, congratulations Lady Gaga on winning the Golden Globe last night for your song Shallow. From A Star Is Born, I know a lot of people are very, very upset that she didn't win a Golden Globe for Best Actress, so maybe she'll win a Golden, or maybe a Golden Globe at the Oscars. Maybe she will. Maybe she'll win a Golden Globe at the Oscars. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. Maybe she'll win an Academy Award. Now, Miss Hot Toddy, Toddy Westbrook, she said she's not leaving her house until Lady Gaga wins an Oscar for A Star Is Born, so you might be waiting some time in there, because I think that Glenn Close did a pretty good job. So anyway, okay, let's get right into this video. Now, I have been sick for about 52 days in a row now. And today I was laying in bed and I haven't made videos on any of my channels in two days. And I was like, you need to get up. You need to get up and take a shower and do your hair and start feeling better about yourself today. You know, like, listen, fake it till you make it. So I did and I'm going to try to get through this video without coughing and hacking up a lung because I just don't feel very great. And right now I'm literally like fever city. So anyway... I saw Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill has been popping off on the Twitter lately, left and right. So yesterday, she tweeted out, well, I guess it was this morning, 12 3 a.m., but I saw it late last night. So she um, got this, like, Instagram uh, comment from somebody, and then she commented to them, and then she retweeted it, and she put a comment. So here, I'll put it right here what it is. So this person said, wish we had the old, humble Jacqueline Hill back. I've unfollowed and followed you again, but nothing has changed. You will never be that person again. Wish you the best in life, but I'm out. And Jacqueline Hill responds and she says, I pray that I am never that insecure, sad, scared girl ever again. The girl who needed validation 24-7 because she didn't know who she was. What you see as humble, I see as sadness. And what you see as cocky, I see as confidence. I'm very proud of how far I've come and look forward to more self-improvement. I hope the same for you. And then she retweeted it on, that was on Instagram, and then she retweeted it on Twitter and she put, just so everyone knows, I'll put it right up here, this is where I'm at. Judge me through your computer screen all you want. And basically what Jacqueline is saying is, I have had it with your petty comments. And you know, I think it's really, really interesting. You know, we've kind of seen I wouldn't say the rise and fall of Jacqueline Hill, and I have followed Jacqueline since I've been doing, you know, beauty influencer videos since 2016, and, um, you know, there's, she has ebbs and flows to her career of what she does. What's really interesting to me, though, okay, and talking to my girlfriends, you know, off the YouTube world that, you know, just like my everyday girlfriends, and asking them, like, who they watch and who they like, they really, really like Jacqueline Hill, and they always say to me, you know, she's relatable and whatever, so... You know, I thought this was interesting, and I kind of had my own perspective on all of this, because I do believe there is a fine line between confidence and cockiness. I think there's a very, very fine line. Um, and I think it's interesting that some people are seeing this in Jacqueline, and she's saying no, blah, 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 whatever. I also think, you know, it's interesting that any time that Jacqueline seems to get a little bit attacked, she throws out this vulnerability card. Like, these are all my issues. Don't come for me. I don't want to be that person anymore. Which, you know, I understand that. But, like, I don't know. Sometimes maybe stay silent to all of that. So I went underneath here, and I read the comments. And they're actually, most of them are very, very supportive of Jacqueline. Um, somebody said, people will talk shit, judge, and make up fabricated stories because they have nothing better else to do with their lives. Keep shining and being you. Don't let anyone dim your light. Which I think is interesting because nobody's making up stories. They're just saying, like, I, I you haven't changed. You're on, I'm not going to follow you anymore. And um, then this other person responds and says, it's shining bright and it's sparkly. Someone says, wow, I happen to love the new Jacqueline just like I love the old Jacqueline. It has been a pleasure to watch you grow into the happy, confident woman you are now and look forward to seeing you grow and become the person you are meant to be. Love you always. Which I, I think that's a really interesting statement. You know, like, um, I agree with that. Like, I think it's interesting to see both parts of it. I think what Jacqueline is missing is how the old fans, the people that have been with her from the very, very beginning, the legit people that have stuck around and made her who she is, what they are kind of equating to cockiness, because in some direct way or indirect way, like, I've seen it as well, and I think that sometimes YouTubers don't understand how it reads. And I'm going to read a couple more comments, but what I mean by that is... <coughs> That, you know,
know, it's very, very interesting that, like, this generation that we live in on YouTube now, where YouTubers are complaining about, I'm not making money, I'm not getting the, I'm not making money off of AdSense, and Jacqueline hasn't really done this, but I'm talking about other YouTubers, right? And they say, I'm not doing this, I'm not making this kind of money, I have to do this, and there's a lot of people saying this, I'm not getting sponsorships the way that I used to, on and on and on, right? And then you see them take these extravagant trips and you see them go out and buy, you know, a $10,000 pair of shoes or, you know, like they go and do like crazy stuff, right? And it's like, okay, like that's really hard for me to relate to when I'm working two jobs and I'm trying to pay my rent and put food on the table for my kids. Like that's not relatable. And I think what a lot of YouTubers forget is that people come to YouTube because it's relatable, right? Like, and once... And it's not that we don't want our YouTubers, like our favorite YouTubers that I like if I met them would faint a million faints. It's not like we don't want them to be successful or we don't want them to ha have high-end luxury brands and we don't want to see those things. I enjoy seeing those things, right? Stay humble while you're enjoying them, okay? Don't start becoming entitled to the point where you feel like you deserve those things. Then it becomes a problem. And I think that's where the fine line becomes kind of blurred a little bit with Jacqueline. And, you know, like, I'm somebody that's watched her for a long time, and I always watch her. I love Jacqueline when she posts videos. You know, it's interesting because in this thread, all these people were like, she's so busy, she's so busy, she's so busy. And I'm like, okay, there are, like, other people out there, like Jeffree Star, that own a makeup company and are literally posting videos daily, if not every other day. So I don't understand why she isn't posting videos and I, and I know that a lot of people are saying, like, well, she's probably going to get away from YouTube at some point and start her own company. And I guess we'll see what happens. So I went underneath here and I read some more of the comments. And uh, somebody says, I just wish the confident you was more present on YouTube. And this is what I'm talking about with people, like, saying that she's not posting videos as often. And then somebody else said, me too, I miss your videos. Somebody else said, same. So basically, the common consensus is they would like to see Jacqueline posting more videos on YouTube. That's how they found her. They like her as YouTuber, you know, whatever. Um, and maybe, and you know... Like, she's been on YouTube for a long time. She's an OG of YouTube, right? Like, maybe she's, like, fading out. Like, maybe this isn't her dream anymore. You know, she's talked a lot about starting her own makeup, you know, company and things like that, which I think will probably happen. People change. People do different things. People start new things. Maybe this isn't where she wants to be down the road. And, hey, we can't hate her for that. Like, I mean, you know, to see somebody that we love morph and change into the person that they want to be, I think is awesome. And I think we should be supportive of that, right? But share that journey with us as somebody that has watched you for a long time. Like, we're your fans. We want to see what you're doing and where you're going next. And somebody says, you go, girl. I love seeing you glow and just be happy with life. People need to learn to differ differentiate from cocky and confidence. And then somebody says, so glad you've changed. You're happier, more confident, and better than ever. And then somebody says, while I love the confidence and style you're bringing, I do miss the videos. I know you're crazy busy now, but I miss deciding whether to skip class or be late. And then all these people go in here and say stuff about don't skip class. Um, and then somebody said, I just miss you actually doing your makeup on YouTube. Agree. LOL. I kind of do. I mean, I'm happy she has everything she wanted, but it sucks she just left YouTube on the back burner. And that's where people's real issue is. And I don't know that that has to do with humility, confidence, what... But that's the issue. It's like people, <coughs> excuse me, don't know when you're going to post videos anymore. They miss you. They miss you, Jacqueline. Like, let's have a talk, okay? This isn't about confidence. This isn't about humility. This is about the fact that they miss you on YouTube. Um, I think you totally missed what the girl was trying to say. And then somebody responds and says, what did she miss? Her response seemed pretty accurate to me. And this girl said, the girl came across to me as referring to how her videos used to be. Jacqueline 100% responded as if she was attacked, which wasn't the case. She should have responded not sounding like a bratty 12-year-old. And this girl said, weird, I didn't see that at all. The girl said Jacqueline should be <coughs> like the old her. Jacqueline knows that the old Jacqueline was not doing well and her mental health was not good. Makes sense to me. People need to grow and change. It's unhealthy not to, but people attack YouTubers for it. True. If you go underneath there, there's a bunch of other things. And then somebody says, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, humble equals sadness. Humble is when you deeply appreciate your roots, your rise to fame, and the people who have gotten you there, which includes your fans. And I think, you know, like that's the real message that people want Jacqueline to hear. And if you go underneath here and you read it, like, it's not really, like, this drag, let's drag Jacqueline down. Like, it's very supportive of Jacqueline. Jacqueline's had very supportive fans through the years. I think what's hard to watch with Jacqueline is when she has been this totally, totally relatable YouTuber, beauty influencer that all these girls, guys look up to and they want to start their channels and they want to be, like, the next Jacqueline Hill, right? Okay, but then she's using, like... 
a La Mer, you know, foundation for, you know, 150 bucks, 130 bucks, or like a Sicily primer for like 100, I think it's $190 at Saks, right? That's not relatable to a lot of people. Like, it just isn't, okay? Or Jacqueline jumping into a pool at her, what was it, her Halloween party with like six $10,000 pair of boots on. That's not relatable, okay? That's not confident. That's cocky. There's a difference, right? And I think that's where people are like, I don't get this anymore. Like, I'm, I'm really glad that you can afford this lifestyle. We're happy for you, but we've been here from the beginning. So can you kind of make this a little bit relatable? That doesn't have anything to do with mental health. I don't think there's anybody out there that watches Jacqueline, loves Jacqueline, even watches her from afar and isn't a huge fan of hers that would want to question her mental health. I think any of us out there of sane mind and body would want YouTubers to be healthy. I, I just can't even imagine wishing that on somebody. That being said, we see that all the time, don't we? Really, and that's what she's basically saying. Sit behind your computer and judge me. And I totally get that, right? Like to be in that, you know, to be in that kind of spotlight and to be judged on a regular basis and get comments and get people, it's got to be totally overwhelming, right? But that's when you look at the positive that overweighs the negative and you look at all the positive that you're getting from people and all the people that really care about you and you look at that instead of the negativity. I don't know, maybe tweet out one of those. And she does. She's pretty good about that. She's pretty good about retweeting fans that say things to her and stuff like that. And I love her Twitter. She's really active on Twitter. But I think that's the thing, you know, and like she is kind of like, promoting this video that I think she's filming today or putting up today or something about like her drugstore. Uh, she went and bought a bunch of drugstore makeup that her fans suggested to her and she's going to do like a whole face with it and stuff like that. But I'm not saying that you have to do that, Jacqueline, every video. I'm just saying pull it down a little bit for the people that can't go into Saks and afford $200 makeup. Like that's not relatable. And People want to see that. People want to see a relatability with you, you know, or at least hold it up and go, okay, this is my favorite primer that's $200. I understand a lot of you can't afford it. When I was just starting, I couldn't afford it either. If you want a really good dupe, here is what I would, you know, suggest. That's relatable. And there's a lot of people that do that. Listen, we're not stupid. These beauty influencers out there, they're putting thousands of dollars worth of makeup on their face on a daily basis. They just are, okay? And many of the products that they're using in their videos, when they're sitting there and they're saying, I use this, no, they're not, okay? We know they're using high-end products, but it's like we want to be able to relate to that person. Yes, we want to see your journey. We want to see your house and your boyfriend. We could be happy for you on that, right? But also remember that the majority of us are not people that are able to live that similar lifestyle. And we want to get excited for you, but we we don't really want it kind of like thrown in our face either. That's the difference between cockiness and confidence. And Jacqueline, I totally believe that you know the difference and can handle the difference and people love you. I mean, they really, really do. Consistently through the last two and a half years that I've been doing videos on YouTube, when I talk to friends of mine, friends of mine that don't even know that I make YouTube videos and they love to watch beauty influencers and all this kind of stuff, they always say that Jacqueline is one of their favorites. Why? A, because she really knows how to do makeup, is what they always, they're like, Jacqueline Hill knows how to do makeup. And B, because she's relatable. And that's what they want to see. So it's not about people not wanting you to be happy or be confident. It's about people wanting to continue to see you do makeup and be relatable. And I think that's what it is. And I don't think it's really a whole lot deeper than that. People love you. They really do. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.